ஜூலி மாசே ஜனாதிபதி தனதுர பாரகத்தே ஜனதாவ துக் In July last year I accepted the presidency when the people were suffering and I believed I could uplift the country. I took up that responsibility in the midst of protests and demonstration. If not we would have seen total anarchy. Sri Lanka's total debt is 83.6 billion US dollars. Foreign debt amounts to 41.5 billion US dollars. Domestic debt amounts to 42 billion US dollars. The total debt is 83.6 billion US dollars. We need to restructure the debt. We will be launching negotiations with foreign creditors. They have informed us to discuss about domestic debt restructuring as well. We have not reached a final decision. Some banks say they cannot face this situation. Then all I have to say is take over this responsibility and carry forward the economy. People cannot place the gun to the head and say certain measures will lead to a collapse. The stock market says that it will collapse. If that happens, I will close it down. they cannot come and speak about conditions now let the parliament decide and then we can tell them what needs to be done there was a question on the epf we will not harm the epf members we in fact started it latino artha sahata armudala gana mama kiyanna kemathi samajika inda api haniyak kara inda denne ne api ne aarambha kare the president also commented on the structural benchmarks required for macroeconomic adjustments parliamentary approval for a new central bank act which will table in parliament next month completion of asset quality review component of bank diagnostic exercise for the two largest state owned banks and the three largest private sector banks the parliament approval of the welfare benefit payment scheme and the application of new eligibility criteria to identify low income families of receiving welfare benefit payments end of may cabinet approval of a comprehensive strategy to restructure the balance sheet of cb CPC Sri Lankan Airlines and the RDA in June cabinet approval for the full revision of the banking act in June President Ranil Wickremesinghe has said that everyone should approve the IMF program IMF gives some hara when vikalpaya kapita ada na hai we have no alternative except for the IMF no one has proposed for any such program in the absence of a working alternative our option is to approve this I would like to tell the MPs from the SJB that even when they were in the UNP we always wanted to work with the IMF we have a program and both sides must accept it I would like to call for all to work together and pass this since the IMF team will be here every 6 months we can discuss the issues as well some trade unions have raised concerns over the tax policy and those can be discussed and solved during the 6 month review thereafter let us join and prepare a national policy framework Let the entire parliament become the government. If not, none of us will be able to exist in another two to three years. If this is going to be a law, Article 157 of the Constitution refers to international treaties and agreements. Will the agreement be presented under these provisions? Will it become law? If this is simply passed, we will have to introduce related legislations from time to time. The agreement is not with another state, but with the IMF. If the agreement is enforced, we need to bring new legislation. We will do so through dialogue. Before that we will discuss with the opposition and prepare the draft. I have instructed the treasury to commence work on that. We accept that the country is bankrupt and we all have a responsibility to think anew in order to rise from this situation. I would like to state one thing. You have to walk the talk. Issues can arise in the implementation of some of the proposals that you made. The appointment of the finance committee is delayed continuously. They appoint one of their own as a pro tem chairman and get all the paperwork approved. The designation mentioned in your comments and the present process are contradicting each other. We are prepared to support what is right. However, we cannot turn a blind eye to what is wrong. If we are to engage in this journey, Dr. Harsha De Silva must be appointed as the chairman of the committee on public finance. How can this process be followed when henchmen are being appointed as chairman? What is this joke? Cope and Copa positions should have been given to Iran and Kabir. There is no point in passing paperwork like this. Me ek ek ma pass karage na hari anne. Janata aveni ven. Mokade? Aha gan inna. Rata aveni ven. Aha gan inna. Jan ane kendi ne aha gan inna. Ane tamunna ansela tunga alagat me janatma ki vude tere na ne halu. Mona pisu gata. Danna kehem mal. Mona kehem mala kat tere na. Aha gan inna. Ino mada khata gan de. Tere ma gan. Mona de. 
මොකද්ද මොකද්ද එක්ස්ටෙන්ඩඩ් ෆන්ඩ් ෆැසිලිටි කියන්නේ දාන්න එක හෙම්මලක් නැහැ මොලේ කලදක් නැහැ අහගෙන ඉන්න ජනාධිපතිතුමා කිව්දේ හරි අපි the president was right we also proposed to approach the imf when the president was in the opposition he pointed the finger at basil rajapaksa and set to table discussions with the imf who said that approaching the imf was betraying the nation and that it would destroy the country none of those in the government understand anything they raise their hands for whatever the president says adipati tuma kiyana kiyana deka ata ussana mole kalanak yak neha oya wadi wen apita katha karanna ida denna janathu aya patra wadi karanna janathipat tuma tumage tumage prakashaya kara ilagata thiyena 28 yatate prashna ahanna ithi api laisi nae tuma kiyana kiyana hamadema ahagana inna janathu mage hina wema thiyena oyata dakkunna prathichar janathipati tuma dannawa age pati giriya hari adi wadi eka gena janathipati tuma eka wada karanna isila api wada kare halo ehemala hari garu janathu mone me wadi karawanna ai I must tell you, I am going to walk the talk, and I know you all are going to walk with me. Thank you. Please don't make that presumption. Don't presume things. No, no, you have. You, you just said no. SJB is going to walk with you. Not at all. We will go through the debate. Please go ahead with you. We will question. never ever walk with people yeah. who Please have betrayed the country. Please go ahead with your question. Vipaksa naayke tum aasa maga pichayoge mere kar. We will work together with the opposition leader as the opposition. However, the Uttar Lanka Sabha does not represent his stance on the IMF. A speech that contradicts the mandate of the people is made, and the MPs are applauding it. The reality on earth will win against the dreamland of the president. A number of policymakers expressed their views in Parliament today during the debate on the extended fund facility extended by the IMF. I cannot accept what the president said in his speech. What has he done regarding the EPF and ETF? I don't think ministers or the president have an EPF or ETF. A government must take all possible steps to protect it. Do not meddle with it. Those are not government funds. They belong to the respective people. This is the most serious document that challenges the president's 40-year-long political career. There is a word in this called structural benchmark. After every sentence, the word structural benchmark is included. What does it mean? To simplify it, when toddlers start to learn how to walk, we block doors so that they do not go beyond a certain point. This is something similar to that. Our leaders have been treated like kids. We have never seen IMF documents using such language before. This has been drafted considering our leaders and politicians as children. No one who has read this agreement will accept it. Only those who have not read it are the ones that will cheer it, praise it and raise their hand for it. As the Freedom People's Alliance, we will vote against this. Although you plotted to bring about political instability while in this government, you never worked towards creating stability in the country. Did you gain a satisfaction through the people's suffering? Do not keep playing the same old record. The longer you play it, the more people will despise you. So, let's come together and strengthen the country. When an election is announced, let's work according to our political views. Bundari Rajapaksa Mandal.